Welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and in case you needed evidence that this wasn't a completely unfair matchup, Lone Matt Connor, who we haven't even met, are in first, Cabal of the Burning Cities are in fourth, and the Chosen are in second. We're in third. Our allies are fifth and sixth. Ouch. System update. Some of those loading screens are kind of bloody, all things considered. My allies still want health at as Becky's. What are we building here? Alright, as long as we're building something. System update. They want Zhao now. They're welcome to it. In fact, I'm gonna tell them. Message to Alliance. I don't want... Zhaonhao. So take it for yourself. Also, we're gonna compose a message to the Chosen. I hate you. Just because I'm such a good diplomat. And I do kind of hate the Zul. Only kind of though. It's a mild blood hatred. At any rate, I think we can just keep hitting and turn for a couple times. System update. The Zul are causing trouble, but not... Not an over amount of trouble. Ho ho. Now this is what I'm talking about. So many tankers. So many warships. Where are the hivers going? Mmm, they've got the ships to do it. They've got the ships to take that independent colony and grind it into the dust. Didn't we have an explorer set for there? Or did we just figure the hivers would get to it and that was fine? That's gotta be it. Interesting place to put uh, random ships. I guess since they can move them around at uh, turns notice, they don't really have to have them deployed anywhere as long as they're in the teleport network gonna get some more mercuries and then continue to pump Kievs I commander we will have those ships out in no time and I might actually stop building up my fleets after a little bit more because you can see maintenance is starting to eat up a section of the budget. Now as our colonies become more productive, we won't have to worry about that as much. Construction project initiated. But it's something I'd rather think about now than later. System update. The merciful ones still want Orion, just like last time. Oh, and they finally colonized Yanhao. And our fleet has arrived at Azbekis, which is not under threat. I don't even think they want it. How well defended is Zhaonhao? It's not terribly defended. So what I actually want to do is move this fleet up here. Course plotted, engaging no drive. This fleet will be able to cover the Hiver colony in case something happens. And maybe something might actually happen. And our Gagarins are here are almost there and they're kinda low on fuel and we'll see if we're if we refuel at allied colonies that should be interesting ah uh, yes and we've arrived at Kapalum ready to help our friends one on one that's not worth watching System update. I have an unknown target. Oh? Hmm. 
What the hell? Oh no. Oh no, is the swarm moving? That's not a contact of any civilization. That swarm is moving. Yep, it's the alien menace. It's gonna be there in three turns. We can actually reinforce. Um, can we? Tizecto. Ah, four turns. It doesn't look like we can get anything there in time. How about from Proxima? No. It'll take four turns even with our pulsed fission F nodes. So we'll just have to hope that the Hyra fleet and our fleet is sufficient. I'm kinda glad I went there. I'm not sure if we can hold, but we gotta try. Co Grappa. Oh man. That is a beautiful world. I admit I am very tempted to grab it. It is almost completely ideal for the human race. Um, I'll think about it. Oh? Oh. Fight in the Moshu system. Oh god, that's a Lear colony. Oh, this is a problem. They're dead. Let's watch. The Chosen are coming like full force at this At least it looks like it's a... I don't know, there's no at least. This is bad. As soon as the game loads, there we go. The Merciful Ones uh, propose peace as usual. This planet is defended by one defense platform. And I think that is it. That's amazing to think about because the Zool have a lot of ships, and they aren't known for being particularly peaceful. So if they're coming to your planet with 25 destroyers, then uh, it's pretty clear what's going to happen. Alright, we've got planetary missiles going out, which means we know which way to look. Oh, man. Oh, man. Planetary missile didn't even make it. How are they? Oh man, they gotta have command ships or something. I believe that is a cruiser class ship, and it's gotta be a cruiser command vessel. Oh my god, look at that swarm of Zul ships. They've eradicated the colony. I think. Yep. They just wiped the colony out just like that. They still have a minute to spare in the combat screen. Jesus. So now you've seen why the Zool can be a little worrying. And they reassume their perfect little formation. You'd think they'd want to stop fighting now that they're done. I definitely think I'm gonna cut the rest of this. Go editing powers. System update. Yep. That was brutal. I hope the Lear have a really large force. They're going to need a large force. The hat would do it.
And yes, our ships do refuel at allied colonies. Which means... God, by the time we get over there... It might be too late to change anything. Especially since these are just explorers. We can't reach Amshi using nodes, so we're going to plot a sublight course with these vessels. Drives to full. It's going to take them 29 years to get to Amshi. By that time, the war could have already been decided. And we've got a cabal of the Burning City ship coming, but it's in six turns. So, and it's just a scout. Both of which means that it doesn't matter. You know what? If we're just going to sit around with this stuff anyway, let's go see if we can go make it have a difference. Can we make it to Awadu? We can if we stop for a refueling stop at Delphi. Alright. Um, hmm. I think I'll assign a couple more tankers to this. I'll put two more tankers on the fleet. And bring some Kiev Mark III's along. Alright, now this fleet has 40 destroyers in it. And we can plot a course directly to Awaru. Navcom program. And when we get to Awaru, we can leap across with these vessels. And hope that it's enough. Your industrial output might make you... Should we even bother? Not yet. It's not yet time to start building defense platforms. Pochak, you on the other hand, can make two light defenses a turn. Go ahead and give yourself a construction project initiated. Go ahead and give yourself a full complement of these. Actually, that's really good. Will that swarm continue to move until we defeat it? This could be bad. We have a number of alien menaces that could attack us. Alright, and we're just building tankers? Alright. I'm thinking after stormers, we're going to head straight to cruiser technology to allow us to build larger warships. And then after that, I'm thinking fusion. Counter at Moshu. The light defense platform is still there. That's not worth watching. <laughs> this is worth watching, though. Oh, yes, that impudent independent colony. Welcome to Let's Observe Other People Fight Much More Interesting Battles. Because when I direct a battle personally, it goes very badly. But I don't want to sim my battles either. So this is a way to do both. Also, it's loading slow because of all the different elements. Also, it's rendering in high quality footage, so... I guess we can forgive it for taking a couple seconds to load all that. Also, this game just has decent load times anyway. Yeah. Now we get to see the Hivers in action, everybody. And it's pretty clear what they're here for. There's their command ship leading up the charge. Right towards that independent colony. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be cathartic. 
Or at the very least, it should be interesting. We've got missile launches. Yep. Defense platforms are coming into range. This planet has a full complement of those. Also, a quick note on the battles. It's not like uh, rolling a dice to hit something. If the thing physically hits, then it physically hits. Which means it's capable of friendly fire. Like, although that's pretty low, I mean... Especially with missiles. With lasers, it's slightly more common, but their damage is so low that it rarely decides a battle. That defense platform's pretty screwed. Now, they're picking off ships, but... Hyper reinforcements are coming in. Looks like they didn't bring any mass drivers along. The missiles should be okay though, I suppose. Although they're probably not best for bombing planets, because... You don't really need high accuracy when you're shooting a planet. Which is probably one of the reasons mass drivers are so good. Man, it's like a light show up here. Those defense platforms won't last, yeah. Each one's just getting picked off by a mass. And they're just gonna move around the planet, obliterating the defense platforms. And you know, ships you know, use whatever leftover shots they have just to shoot the planet, kill some people. It's good stuff. Ouch. Those heavy missiles completely eradicate a destroyer, though, if they hit. Luckily, our friends have so many vessels that they can fire in point defense. There is their gate ships that they use to set up gates. They even have that in the fight. Well, the fight's going on too long, so it's a stalemate. System update. So the fight continues. However, it looks like the Hivers can take it. Even so, why don't we go ahead and offer a, up a little help here? Where's our fleet? It's not like we're doing much else with them. You guys. I have an idea. Do we even have a Washington in here? Oh, we lost our command ship. Anyway, I want you to abandon... Hell, what's up, Pochak? Oh, they don't have a fleet protecting them. They've got hivers. Um, <laughs> lot of tanker vessels waiting around. Put these in a new fleet. Mercury should be good against planets too. How long to Atarisk? 21 turns. What's the hold up? Serious question. Whatever. Course plotted. Engaging Just send an Proxima then. Let's take all these Gagarins and we'll send them, I don't know, there. No, 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 no. Yes, you can reach it with sublight nodes. Go here and then go there. Do you need tankers? Fleet moving up. I can just send some tankers with you guys. How are the Lear doing? No contact from Moshu or Vaxer. I'm worried about the Leer guys. They are churning out ships though, which is good. Also, uh, this is intel analysis which we can't get even on our allies which is interesting 
I want to take a look. Fission, fission. Yeah, the Zul are at cruiser technology, but our allies aren't, which means we're not too far behind. So as soon as we get stormers, it's straight to cruisers, though, because you don't want to be fighting cruisers unless you have a ton more destroyers. It's just not good news. Hivers, what do you have here? Hmm. Alright, I admit I'm worried. Maybe point defense ships will be good against the, uh... Alien Swarm. Maybe. Let's make some more torpedo frigates. Or torpedo... <laughs> Uh, destroyers. Construction project initiated. Why? Oh, just because I can. Which is, by the way, the best and most lovely reason for everything ever. Because there's nothing more to do on this turn. Silicoid Queen? Oh, well the Hivers came prepared. And we have our own contingent ready. Atarask is gonna die. But this is the much more interesting fight to watch. I wonder how we'll do. Also, I hope we don't become a footnote in the fight. At least the Hivers have 40 ships. I gotta believe that we can fucking bury them. I gotta hope. Oh yeah, the loading's gonna be a while. Yep. Am I gonna cut it out of the video? <laughs> I figure loading screens like this are part of the experience of the game. And to get a real true feel of an experience from a Let's Play, you gotta leave in most of the loading screens. Which is also what I thought about stuff like when I watched the Let's Plays of Sonic 06. There's no way to understand that game without sitting through the loading screens like the Let's Players do. Should be just about ready to go now. There we go. Alright. Full pursuit, boys. Lock in course and engage. And the Hivers are engaging too. Oh boy. I just hope my destroyers can get there in time to help out. Just engage at maximum speed, everybody. They're trying to hit the gate. That's a really bad thing. If we can protect the gate, that would be optimal. God, I hate the swarm. What the hell is... It's freaking huge, first of all. It has some kind of beam weapon. We're hitting it though. This is kind of an exciting fight. I'm not sure if we'll win. We're pouring everything we've got at the bitch. Looks like it's got photon torpedoes. Jesus. That's one destroyer down. We're hitting it though. Everything we've got. Right into her belly. Just gonna pick us off one by one.
Is this thing really strong enough to beat all of us? I can't believe that. We're having good effect on the... It looks like we're good having good effect on the target. Just keep working at it, boys. Might even be able to kill it before the battle's up. Yeah, more hyper reinforcements coming in. We'll just bury her in missiles. We're cutting chunks of it off. Looks like the battle's gonna drag on to a second round. I would love to read the battle report. We have made a breakthrough. Right on schedule. Good job, everybody. Move fleets at Proxima. Poe Chat got itself some additional light defense platforms, which is good, given that the Morgi are getting more arrogant in their scouting. We've acquired Stormers. That's good, that's good. Love to have some of those on a ship. Alright, and we've been hanky-panky and around for a while. But it's time to do it. It's time to go for cruiser tech. We're going for orbital foundries. This project could be the big breakthrough you have Also lowers for. the cost of ship construction by 5% and makes larger ship holes possible. There you go. No other special projects. The Silicoid Queen remains. Oh. It looks like our ships did we didn't lose any ships. They're focusing on the Hiver. But we did a lot of damage to her. Yep, the Silicoin Queen only inflicted about half the amount of damage she took. And our Kievs actually did inflict a lot of the damage here. That's good. Next turn we should be able to eradicate her. I'm hoping... Of course, then we'll have to deal with the colony trap, too. And this is going to distract the Hivers from the campaign against the enemy. Well, that just makes me think. If this only has four ships there... I have some Mercuries. Those are good at bombing planets. Maybe we could get a little cheeky here. I could just sim the combat. At least make the enemy think more about their defenses than their offenses. Could be a bad idea. Hmm. Can we pull up some reinforcements from anywhere? Pull up a lot of reinforcements from here. Get to Zhanhao. It's gonna be a while. Unfortunately enough. Uh, just send you to Markov, I suppose. Navigation, set course. I wish I could do more to help here. Let's just have a look at something. Yeah, stormers are medium mounts. I wonder what a stormer could do. We'll call you the Griffin. Griffin, yeah. Design entered into naval archives. We'll churn out a couple of those and see if they do anything. Should be great against planets. Shipyards getting up. Alright. 
We've made a little progress here. And I'm going to cut off the recording right here as the war goes on. Thank you for watching Let's Play Sword of the Stars. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and I'll see you next time.